Hi campers, I'm Rosie McLennan, your head counselor for this week. Welcome to Jumpstart Summer Camp. As you may already know, we'll be sharing some fun activities for you to follow along on Jumpstart's Instagram channel every day of the week for the rest of the summer. This week, we're going for gold, celebrating what would have been the 2020 games with some all sports fun. I started trampoline at seven and I've been able to compete at the Olympics three times. Twice, I got to stand on top of the podium and hear our national anthem loud and proud. And now I want to invite some of my friends, Allison, Michelle, and Greg to lead us all in some fun warm up, workout, and cool downs. It's time to get up and get moving. Let's go. Hey campers, my name is Allison Levine and I'm a Paralympian in the sport of boccia. I'm going to take you through what my warm up in competition looks like. Now, it may seem simple, but the first thing I do is simply breathe. I clasp my hands, close my eyes, and take three really deep breaths. Let's do it together. That's one. Two. And three. Those deep breaths really get my body ready to start stretching and loosen up my muscles. So the first thing I'm going to do is just simply start rolling my shoulders. I'm going to roll forward and backwards. Next thing I'm going to do is stretch out my wrists. Bring them down, down, up, and up. Now, on to the neck. Normally I have someone helping me do this, but I don't today. So I'm gonna get a little creative and I'm gonna use my hand to help. So, I'm gonna push my chin all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way down, and all the way up. Now I'm simply going to rotate my entire trunk. So I'm going to grab the back of my wheelchair and I'm going to twist and come back. And the other side. Twist and come back. Then I'm going to lean to one side. and lean to the other. Now that I'm feeling pretty good and loose, I'm gonna do my favorite part where I just shake it all out. I feel ready to throw some balls. Hey Jumpstart Summer Campers, my name is Michelle Lee. I am a two-time Olympian. I grew up in Markham, Ontario, and I play badminton. Today I'm going to take you guys through a workout that will help you increase your speed on the court, on the field, or just in general in sport. It's really important during all these exercises that we use a lot of your core because that's where most of the speed comes from. So make sure that when you're doing these exercises, really strengthen your core, um, activate it, and make sure that you're always staying low. So first exercise is, I don't really know what it's called, but it's focused on turning your hip. So you want to bring your, so for starting with the right leg, bring your right knee up, turn, and you want to bring it over your left, and there's a little hop, left leg, turn, hop, left leg, turn. So every time you're doing this, you're turning your hips. So you're kind of going into this um, little diagonal pattern. So you can start off slow, like this, but when you get the hang of it, you can go fast. So you see that my hips, are always turning and then I'm really using my core to turn my hips and my arms are relaxed they're just going with the momentum of the hip turn so second second exercise um, it's very simple uh, it's fast feet so one thing you need to remember is this isn't fast feet I'm moving my, my feet really fast but my body is upright and I'm only using my calves so we want to use our core so make sure that you're, you're low, your butt is down, 
and you really activated the core to make sure you get that fast speed. So you wanna make sure that you're in sync with your arms too. So your, your arms aren't just like this, you're not just like this. You wanna make sure that you're also using your arms, core, and you're engaging everything and all moving together. So for the third exercise, we're going to do in and out. So you want to imagine that there's an imaginary line right in front of you. And you're taking one step in, left leg in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, as fast as you can. Same thing, arms are also moving. Back and forth, back and forth. Moving together is one, core is engaged, and you're leaning a little forward, so you're not like this. So imagine there's a line. You can start off slow. When you're ready, go fast. So for the fourth exercise, um, we're gonna go. We're gonna do lateral movements. So we're gonna do lateral side skips. We're gonna take two skips to one side, two skips to the other side, and keep going as fast as we can. So we're gonna start in the middle, and then we're gonna go. You wanna have another. Uh, you can put any markers to the side. Um, you're not moving that far, but you want to make sure that you stay low. And you want to go to the side, just like this. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's the slow version. So when you want to go fast, again, engage your core, stay low, and make sure that your arms are are, are loose, but they're not. They're not idle. So you wanna make sure that they're also up. You're ready, ready position, and go. So make sure that when you push off from the side that it's quick, so it's like a spring. You spring off to the side, middle, spring off to the side, middle, spring off to the side, middle. So for the final exercise, another simple one, um, it's high knees and pretty much you're sprinting on the spot. One thing to remember, you really have to use your, your arms. You don't want to lean backwards. You want to lift your knees up, but you want to lift them up while leaning forward and engaging your core. So I don't want to see this. I want to see this. You want to bring that intensity into your, your high knees. Then you're imitating a sprint. So pretend that you're on, you're on a track and you're doing a 100 meter sprint. You just wanna sprint as fast as you can, leaning forward, knees up, using your arms to help you drive your knee up. Nick Atlas, Greg Stewart again. Cool down and plays such an important role after we're done training, exercising, everything like that. It's a great way for us to flush our body uh, with any uh, you know, aches and pains and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna just show you guys a few exercises that uh, I do after training, uh, just to kind of help loosen myself up so that I'm not as sore later on in the day. So all I'm gonna do to start off right off the bat is kind of work on stretching my groin. And so what that's gonna look like is we're gonna have ourselves, we're kind of standing with our legs a little bit further apart, just further than uh, shoulder width apart. And what we're gonna do is just kind of lean to one side and really work on flexing and stretching right in that groin. What we're going to do is we're going to do it three times, 10 seconds each. So let's give it a try here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the other side. shake our legs out or anything like that. Also, if you have maybe a disability where say you can't uh, stretch your groin out or things like that, or you need to sit on the ground, another option we can do is to sit down just like this. Kind of put our legs, feet together like this, and then just press down on our knees. Kind of helps to create more of a stretch in there too. We'll do that and hold it for 10 seconds. Kind of 
shake our legs out. Kind of get a little relaxed. Next thing we're gonna do is kind of stretch our hamstrings, that sort of thing. So what we're gonna do is actually cross our legs, just like this. If you have poor balance like I do, it might be a little bit challenging, uh, but that's okay. Then what we're gonna do is lean forward, just to a point so we can feel a stretch in our hamstrings. If you want, you can drop your, finger, your hands down, trying to touch your toes. I'm not super flexible, so this is something that I'm always training on and learning to do. So we're gonna go for 10 seconds. And then stand back up and then cross over the other foot. Like I said, not very good balance. And then go down to our toes. Stand up, shake our legs up. So one thing when cooling down, I like to also reflect on what I've done in my training session. So whether it's been, you know, if I had a challenging time or I threw really well, or if there was a certain movement that I want to uh, visualize more often, it's something I'm constantly thinking about. So during the cool down, it also gives me the opportunity to reflect on what I was doing. So here we have, we've stretched, stretched our groin. We've also worked on our hamstrings. But another really important part for us is our hip flexors, which are just kind of found right along our quads that attach up into our hips, which that actually connect to our QLs in the back. So what I recommend doing, maybe grabbing a mat if you, your knees hurt or whatnot, but we're going to go into a lunge position. And so what that looks like is, in this case, my left foot's going to be forward, and I'm going to put my knee down on the ground. So I'm just facing this way. Or you can see it facing like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flex my back cheeks so that that's nice and tight. And then I'm going to lean forward so that I can feel a pull right here. And again, we're going to do three sets at 10 seconds. So here's number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. We're going to switch to the other side, scoot over, right foot forward, flex our butt cheeks, leaning forward so that we can feel a stretch right in our hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. If you guys are in a situation where you only know, have a disability like myself, you're in a wheelchair or anything like that, you can always do something a little bit different. Uh, I know I'm focusing a lot on the legs, but you know, in the case of uh, if you're in a wheelchair or whatnot, you can always lean forward, try to touch your toes there, work on your back. Um, you can also do side to sides and just kind of help work out in this area, that sort of thing. There's always, there's always something that you can be doing. Um, and the neat part is we just get to make it up on our own. So let's go back and do another set through our arms. Left foot forward in a lunge position, flexing my butt cheeks, and we're gonna go forward like this. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do one more set here in a sec, but again, here's an opportunity in between your sets or in between your exercises just to kind of reflect on what you did. Maybe you uh, threw the ball really well or shot a shot great, or maybe you, you stumbled and fell and you remember picking yourself back up. Those are really important things that you can reflect on so that you can. Imagine yourself, visualize yourself down the road, becoming better, getting better at what we're doing. Let's do one more set. Left leg in front, butt cheeks are flexed, leaning forward again. 
I stretch right here, count to 10. One. Ten. Visualization. This gives me an opportunity just to relax. Gives me a minute or two for me just to kind of be here, be in this moment, and take part in what is going around and around me. So what I'm actually going to do is just find a comfortable position. Just going to lay here on this mat. You can do this at home. I'm going to put my legs down, hands on the ground. I'm just going to take a minute or so just to breathe. It allows me the opportunity just to relax. It brings me to this current moment in time. It allows me to feel the ground below beneath me. It's just a great way to end, whether it's a successful workout or a harder workout or any type of exercise and whatnot. This cool down really allows me to cool down. And all I'm going to do is breathe in through my stomach and exhale. opportunity to work with you guys today. I'm really grateful that uh, you know, we're making our way out of COVID and that you know we're getting more opportunities to see the loved ones around us. I wish you all the very best and hopefully we'll get to see each other one day in the new year. All the best and have a great rest of your summer. Thanks so much, guys. Well, that's all for her today from Jumpstart Summer Camp. We'll be back tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. and every weekday all summer long. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.